This cute little bunny is going to be turned into a card holder. I've been drawing like crazy just trying to come up with some little figure and I finally came up with this little guy here I was thinking of um, chickens and eggs and and whatnot and I said you know what it's not gonna um, be very eye appealing I mean the chickens will be and I, I will do chickens and I'm thinking of doing ducks also but um, I wanted to do something that's three-dimensional so I decided to make a rabbit and then I decided, well, if I'm going to make it three dimensional, I'm going to have to actually make two rabbits and then somehow put them together. So this is basically a roughed out drawing of what it would be. So you'd have one rabbit on one side and one rabbit on the other. And then the opening down the middle, that's where you're going to put your card. So. What I did is I wound up doing a little freehand uh, wire wrapping and I came up with this little guy here and then I put him in the, uh, so I scanned him. This is actually a scan. It looks like it's actually wire on the paper. Um, so when you make your scans, do it in color because it does help you out. It just makes it more fun. Cut a 61 inch piece of wire, wrap one end around the nail used to make the cotton tail. This is your anchor. My bunny is about six inches long, five inches tall, four inches wide at the belly and feet, and about two and a half inches in between the front paws. Follow the direction of the wire weaving in and out of the nails as they're placed in and around the template, showing you where your wire should be wrapping. Take notice of the exaggerated bends for sharper corners as opposed to the slight bends in the wire to shape your bunny accurately. When you reach the tail, draw the wire under the bump up. Now it's time to wrap a second time. When removing your bunny, pry off your wrap from the nails carefully by tucking your index finger underneath both wraps, lifting all the way around your rabbit. Using your pliers, attach both rumps with the small anchor loop, and then wrap a couple times. There's going to be about an 8 inch piece of wire left over, and this is going to be twisted to make your cottontail nest. Always wrap away from you. You're going to wrap away from you starting at the larger circle of your mandrel, finishing up at a smaller circle. Always, always, always nip off any sharp ends. Curl in tightly. Now you're going to bend over your little bunny tail to make a shallow cup for the cotton ball. To anchor the nose, you're going to need about five to six wrapped coils of wire. I'm using 15 gauge wire. Use your imagination. You can use a small dowel or a pen. 
or anything small that you can find. Anchor at the nose with two to three wraps and then secure tightly. Bend remaining coils up to sit flat. This is where the tiny pink pom-pom will be glued to. Crimping anchor wraps as needed. Now it's time to smooth out the wires in unison all over the bunny's body. Now it's time to do a little detailing on the toes. So crimp the feet slightly, pointing the toes downward. Next, you're going to crimp the paws slightly and have them facing downward as well. Next, cut about a one to one and a half inch piece of wire and cut off the sharp ends. Bend both ends over by about a quarter of an inch. And this is going to wrap around the top and the bottom of your bunny's neck. This is a really crucial piece because it's going to be holding your card holder in place. With my measurements, this piece will hold up to a four by six inch card, photo, or menu in place. You can use a smaller card but anything larger than four by six, you're going to have to make your bunny a little bit bigger or figure out your own adjustments. Now narrow down your bunny's ears. Slide your ribbon between the front legs and wrap around the long side of the neck wire. Your knot is going to be on the same side as the crimped ends of the collar. Make a double knot. Use a gel super glue or hot glue to attach your embellishments, nose, and cotton tail. Glue one pink pom-pom onto the nose wrap nest. You can add more glue after it dries. Be generous gluing your bunny tail. Begin spreading out your bunny's body. This causes the head to drop down. This is adjusted at the end. To make it more three-dimensional, you're going to start to shape the forehead. So do this by sliding your round mandrel in between the two wires. Pull the head up to face forward. The last step, use a glass or soup can to form the belly of the bunny for stability. And that's it.
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.